Please welcome clinical psychologist Michael Connor to the show. Welcome, Michael. You run a referral service to help. You run a referral service to help parents find and identify places when they have a troubled teen at home, what they should do. Is that correct? Well, actually, I run a, a, a consumer protection and research website, mm -hmm. and I don't take any money for it. No, okay. it's, uh, it does research on what's going, across, going on across the country, and I hear about these kinds of things every day. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say everything you've said is, is right on. There's a difference between a wilderness therapy program in a boot camp. Yes. In a, in, a, in a boot camp, you're dealing with an alternative to jail, and the children are inmates and prisoners. That's how they're treated. And it's driven by punishment, which often turns into abuse. And fear and intimidation, deprivation. <laughs> and, I, and I get emails from parents. I have parents who actually fly across the country with what's left of their child, and what I see is someone who looks like a POW or a hostage or someone who's been in domestic violence for years. And I'm talking to these people, trying to figure out how to put their lives back together. And these are from these renegade boot camps. There's about 400 boot camps in the country, and a large percent of them are just plain renegade about the kind of people, that, with the people you're talking about. Now, on the other hand, you've got these wilderness therapy programs, which are accredited, licensed. Some of them are accredited by the same institutions that accredit hospitals, okay? Good, legitimate programs. When a kid goes into a wilderness therapy program and he kicks a tree, okay, this will help. When he kicks a tree, the staff go, what's up with that? You're kicking the tree. Is that like how you go through life, kicking and yelling at things that won't get out of your way? In a boot camp, what you see is, did you kick that tree? That's my tree. Don't and you I'm ever be kicking a tree. You. Drop and give me 40. And if you're not going to give me, oh, you're angry, huh? You want a piece of me? Go ahead and hit me. That's what goes on in these boot camps, and it's very different from licensed, credentialed programs where you've got professionals running around who will um, lose their license for treating kids that way. And I've had direct experience of having to leave a program because I would have lost my license. Take a break. We'll talk some more when we come back. We'll be back with us. So what does a parent do? It's hard. You're looking for people who can help you, who understand the industry, people who are licensed, people who can explain to you how a program works, and they're referring you to programs where they know people in that program who will personally take responsibility and professionally for that child. And that's a big thing that doesn't happen. A lot of parents release their child to a program thinking that the program will protect the child. And the truth is, a person protects a child. That's the kind of connection you need, not the smoke and mirrors stuff that you get talking to admission directors and people who have backgrounds in marketing and know nothing about kids. And most of I gotta, gotta, agree. I gotta go, but most of the places that will say what you said will also put that in writing. If you don't see those words in writing, you shouldn't send your child to that program. If you can even find anybody in the program who's licensed, that's the other part that you can talk to. I'm out of time. Buyer beware. Join us on the next Montel.